Hello and welcome to Rotted Reviews, and today I am going to be tackling the 2017 Japanese gore horror movie, Brutal. Now this movie was directed by, and I apologize for what is likely a mispronunciation, but it is directed by Takashi Hirose, and this was a tough one. I... Okay, I meant to include this one in my regular segment of five horror movies you probably have never heard of. And when I watched it, I decided after that that it was something that I needed to give its own unique review to, its own video to. So that's what I'm doing here. Uh, I was trepidatious before starting this movie. The, I, I'm, I'm not going to mince words. It feels like to me that the world of uh, low-budget underground gore horror is it's a rabbit hole especially when you start getting into things like you know the specifics like japanese gore horror and it's it's a rabbit hole that i'm going to be frank i don't know if i really want to be going down however i decided that this one was worth a watch and i kicked it on and my worst suspicions were confirmed right out of the gate but they didn't stay that way and that was the reason that i wanted to have a special uh, discussion and special review of this movie. Now this has three unique segments to it. Man, woman, man and woman. Man and woman are well, the first two, let's just say, <laughs> uh, are basically uh, the main characters uh, getting introduced to each one as both the man and the woman uniquely torture victims with their own purposes in mind. And they share some similarities, they share some differences, and then they finally meet up in the third chapter. <clears throat> now, the first segment of Man, this is where things start poorly and don't really get any better. This was my worst suspicions confirmed. It was just basically starting right out of the gate with this man torturing these poor girls. Calling them names, stabbing them, uh, being a completely malevolent asshole with a knife. And this movie only clocks in at a little over an hour, but it was still feeling pretty long by the time we got finished with that segment. But then, Woman started. And it, it, the start of it didn't fare a whole lot better. It kind of went through the same beats as Man, but in a lot more of a succinct fashion. It was a lot more of almost a montage -y kind of thing. And then we actually started getting her talking. Talking with another character outside of the torture element. Uh, just out in the world and kind of having a little bit of, uh, okay, well we've seen what happens when the spider catches the fly. This is how the spider weaves the web. And that was a little bit more interesting. That shed a little bit more light on things. You know, just the gore, uh, you know, underground indie gore for the sake of gore's sake is not something that I really necessarily typically enjoy. For me, it's almost like pornography. It's just such a singular, visceral uh, you know, experience. And for me to enjoy a film... I need to have a little bit more. I need to have plot. I need to have characters. I need to have something more behind it. And now we started to show that. And now all of a sudden I started to get a little bit interested. It didn't redeem the movie for me. But then the third chapter occurred where they meet up. And that took some really unexpected turns. And this is ultimately where I decided that I needed to give this its own review and talk about it uniquely is... The meetup between the two characters was something that was unexpectedly, hauntingly, disturbingly beautiful. Now, Asian horror, by and large, especially Japanese horror, is not focused typically so much on gore. It's focused a little bit on, well, a little bit more spiritual stuff there, where you have the uh, Onyo and the Yure. And... Uh, it was a unique aspect of these characters to see in this context of the, the, just terrible, stabby, stabby, gore, gore all over the place. And, you know, unlike movies like Tokyo Gore Police, where it kind of reveled in it on a comedic level, on an absolutely outlandish level. And then we get into like the, you know, uh, the mechanism body horror kind of uh, movies there. Uh, this one was very uh, grounded. It was unrealistic in its violence, but it was very grounded in reality. It felt gritty. It felt real. It didn't feel like all of a sudden they were going to start sewing machine parts onto people and things like that. But when we got to the climactic scenes of them meeting up and the ultimate conclusion that this movie went down, there, I've been struggling with trying to figure out a way to put how I felt about this one. 
because I think ultimately where I landed with it is it felt to me like I was watching a foreign language opera and the message of the opera didn't land with me. I'm going to say that right out, that the message that this movie tried to portray in the beautiful sadness of the characters meeting up, it didn't land with me. I don't understand perfectly what the movie was trying to convey to me. But it's clear, just as that opera would, that it had a voice, that it had a message, and it felt strongly about it, and it was heartbreaking, and it was beautiful, it was sad and triumphant all at the same time, and even if I didn't get the message, I got the tone, and it stuck with me. This movie has not been able to leave my brain for the last week. And that in and of itself is something, something meritorious, something worth talking about. And that is why I'm doing this review. And so now it's time to go ahead and throw up all the scores. As always, four different categories, each one worth up to 25 points for a total possible score of 100 points. The plot, I, when I was first started out, honestly, for the first 20 minutes of this movie, I was expecting it to be you know in the single digits, but it actually managed to eke out 15 out of 25. The intent, 16 out of 25. I think that this delivered on a lot of the gore aspect of it, a lot of the stomach-churning aspect of it. This is not for lightweights, period. However, I will also say that, uh, like I said, the message of what it was trying to convey didn't really land. I'm glad that it had one, and I'm glad that it made me feel something emotionally. I just, I didn't really understand. So it didn't get the full 25 points or, you know, uh, it, it didn't even get above 20 on the intent, but it's still uh, better than average, I would say, on that which is surprising to me above anybody else. Uh, the acting, 16 out of 25. Uh, fairly decent performances here. Not honestly a whole lot to work with. As far as range goes, there just wasn't a whole lot. It was mostly just angry people, stabby, stabby. Uh, and even when we got to that message, it was more conveyed in the situations that the actors were uh, being presented with as uh, more than the acting performances itself. And the technical, 21 out of 25. The special effects in this one, the practical effects in this one, were uh, pretty good. Um, I would say that as far as the body horror that was taking place, as far as the stabbing goes... Not quite so much. Uh, you know, uh, it was somewhat effective, but somewhat not at the same time. It felt a little bit cheesy, and there was a lot of stabbing going on in this one, so there was a lot to feel a little cheesy about it. But a lot of the other effects, as far as the gore aspects of it, about how, you know, distilling down the guts so that they can be flushed properly, things like that, uh, <laughs> there was a lot of blood and guts and gore and practical effects, and I will say that. For the most part, it worked pretty well, but another thing that I want to commend on this one outside of practical effects and into the more technical category is the camera work because this had a very grindhousey feel to it and it was very purposeful. And at first I didn't really much care for it, but it grew on me and I think ultimately it overall led to the aesthetic of the entire movie uh, just kind of coming together in one cohesive package that I had to admire, I had to tip my hat to. This had a very underground feel to it. And I mean, even just going so far as like, you know, the little skips in the, you know, uh, film and so forth that obviously were put in there in post-production, it, it worked. I don't like that it worked, but it worked. And here we are. So a grand total of 68 out of 100 points. And I was really expecting after watching just the man segment to give this no more than 20, but it redeemed itself. It pulled itself out of the dirt. And it turned into a movie that I, like I said, it stuck with me. I had to admire at least for that alone. And even if it's not an absolute masterpiece, and even if it's absolutely not, which it is not for beginners, this is not a movie that I would kick on for my grandmother. This is a movie that I would recommend to people that can take certain amounts of gore. I would be curious to see what you thought of it. If the message did land with you, if you saw more of it than I did, if you saw less of it than I did in terms of context or subtext and uh, plot and so forth, I would love to hear your opinions on it. I would love to discuss this movie with somebody. So please, please leave your comments below the description. I would love to have a discussion about 2017's Brutal, but as far as this review goes, that should about do it. Thank you very, very much for joining me here today. I look forward to seeing you on my next video. If you like this, please click like and subscribe, and if you want to support me further, my Patreon and my merchandise storefront links are below. Remember, next time you want to watch a horror movie, first make sure that it's good and rotted.